Hello, everyone, welcome back to our video. May God pour countless graces and blessings upon you. We pray that God's blessings permeate every smile and illuminate the love that brightens your day. Vika has just sent news from Magigoria about a strange cloud formation in North America, believed to be the habitat of a strange creature ready to wreak havoc on millions of homes nationwide. According to what she said, this ominous dark cloud is predicted to appear. The warning message Vika sent becomes more urgent and concerning because the nature and origin of this mysterious cloud are still unknown. As people grapple with this warning, details about the potential threat and the importance of the designated date become more scrutinized and anticipated. Before discussing today's topic, let us pray, offering our petitions to God the Father. O Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who sacrificed himself to save us, your pitiful children, from the fires of hell, hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept the challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in the warning. We beg you to grant mercy to sinners who find it difficult to return and accept your merciful heart, that they may offer to you the necessary sacrifices and make reparation before you. Amen. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us and listen to this video until the last moment. Type Amen if you believe, may God always bless you. Dear beloved children, I invite you to love the Father's house with hidden sincerity, hope, faith, and affection. Beloved children, from the bottom of a mother's heart, I write to implore you to prepare well for what is about to happen. A strange omen, a cloud resembling a swarm of locusts, is predicted to appear in the sky. This celestial event is not just a performance, it is a sign of impending chaos. It is expected that countless locusts will attack the country as January comes to an end, targeting many homes across the nation. Beloved children of mine, you must pay attention to this sacred warning and take appropriate action to protect yourselves and your families from the looming threat. My dear children, something extraordinary may happen in the sky, a cloud resembling a swarm of locusts. Use a blessed net, like a protective shield, to keep your home safe. Additionally, read the Bible every day as if it were a supportive friend, providing you with strength. In times of difficulty, you can find courage and comfort in the words of the Bible. Remember that these locusts are akin to Satan's enemies, and by maintaining your faith, you fortify your home and heart against any intrusion that may disrupt your peace. You must commit to reading the Bible every day for the next 65 days, starting now. Consider this a unique journey where you can learn from the ancient wisdom in the Bible, connect with your spiritual side, and let the powerful guidance from above bring about significant changes in your life over the next 65 days. In this way, you will develop deep wisdom, strength, and resilience as you absorb the invaluable truths found in the Bible. You will also feel a deeper spiritual connection. I have often pierced my heart as a mother. I have revisited the places where my Divine Son carried the cross. I relived the falls, how they pressed on him and hurt him. I prayed to God the Father. May he grant me every blessing he will receive when he remembers the blow. It was a day of pain, silence, and sorrow for me. I only speak to pray. I cry in sorrow and pain because faith and pain go hand in hand. Let us offer sacrifices to God the Father to atone for the mistakes that future generations will commit. It is better through the good deeds of our brothers and sisters. I love you. I keep you safe and bless you. Amen. John 16 verse 33, I have revealed these things to you so that you may have peace in me. This world will not be easy for you, but take heart. I have overcome the world. 
This passage from John 16 verse 33 summarizes the reassuring and powerful message of Jesus. While preparing his followers for the difficulties and challenges they will face in this world, he also encourages them to find peace in their relationship with him. The faith that Jesus has overcome the world symbolizes hope and triumph over adversity. It emphasizes the idea that, despite life's trials, Jesus' followers can be courageous because he has overcome the greatest obstacles. This encourages Jesus' followers to find comfort and strength in their faith, trusting in his revolutionary teachings and his presence. Now let's come together and pray. Hail Mary, Mother Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy. May God protect you. Amen.